It's like he vanished. Like he was never even on this earth. There's no evidence or nothing of what happened to him. Deanna McKinney's 19-year-old son, Austin Colson, has been missing since January. Police say the only person of interest in the disappearance is Richard Whitcomb. I'm hoping we can find him alive, but there's a good part of me that says we're not going to. Whitcomb, a convicted felon, was hit with two federal firearms charges after police began questioning him about Colson's disappearance. While in court on those charges, the judge ruled he can be released to Valley Vista for treatment for drug addiction. After that's complete, he can return home where he'll be monitored. If he's not using drugs, why go to rehab? He's that's been in jail point. for two, two months, months now. About There's two months. your rehab. In court documents, investigators say the two sold scrap metal and cocaine together and that Whitcomb gave a gun to Colson as collateral. Vermont State Police pinged Whitcomb's cell phone to near a location where Colson's trailer was found, but he denies he was with the missing man when he vanished. Now, family and community members are out searching the Royalton area every week for Colson. We go out every weekend. It's really brought a lot of people together, all different areas, to try to help this family find their son. It's really important. They're asking for property owners to look for signs as well. A and C painting hat, uh, shell casings uh, from spent bullets, uh, keys, a maroon cell phone. Colson's father hopes now that the snow is melting, it will be easier to find clues. He's also hoping someone saw the pickup hauling the trailer. We just have tried to pull as many resources and um, people that we can to to get out and, and bring him home. He's he was 19. Whitcomb has not been charged in Colson's disappearance. We have a lot of reason to believe that he is very guilty, um, and I believe this is a worst case scenario for our family. Now, the judge has ordered a stay on this decision, meaning they're asking a higher judge to look at Whitcomb's release, possibly not allowing it. Again, Austin Colson's family really wants to remind everybody in the Royalton area to look on their property for suspicious items. If you do find something, report it to Vermont State Police immediately. There's a list of those items that they're looking for on our website, mybc5.com as well. Live in Burlington, Jennifer Sheehan, NBC5 News.